Host, I'm host, I'm host. I can get this. I got this. Ready? I'm gonna knife him. I'm gonna knife him. This! <laughs> so I've recently just gone to a store and I'm noticing more and more Halloween decorations. And it's really strange because around this time of the year, it's like my favorite and my most hated at the same time. As big of a pussy as I am, I love Halloween. I love the theme of everything. It's just all fucking off. It's a fun time on YouTube too, because like all the pranksters out there do like these Halloween pranks and stuff. Everybody every single year just seems to always get in the spirit of things. Like even when Christmas rolls around, you just got like those few Debbie downers. You know what I mean? Halloween, everybody's ready to just scare the ever living shit out of everybody else. Everybody's ready to always go all out. Every single Halloween. I mean, except me because because I don't really do much scary stuff. See, back when I was in my old relationship, every single relationship that I end up getting into is always like revolved around horror type shit. Like movie nights are like paranormal horror films slash slasher night. Instead of Netflix and chill, it's Friday the 13th and chill. If you can't watch scary movies with me, it's it. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a disconnect there. I mean, it's okay to be scared during horror movies. That's why I watch them. And it's the only thing I legit enjoy being scared by because I'm in no actual danger because it's just on a screen, you know? He didn't kill himself? Like, I used to help some people set up, like, these horror house things, like the haunts shit. You know, where you, like, pay to get a ticket and then you, like, walk through. I mean, some of them are free. Like, haunted hay rides and all that other shit. And they have, like, all the actors all dressed up and have makeup on and all that stuff to just jump out and scare people. Some of them are, like, high budget. Other ones are low budget. Being involved with those things, I just, I, I, like, I knew I was a pussy before that. But then, imagine directing a horror film. And then when you watch the film over, you still manage to get scared at that film. That's kind of what happened with this whole haunt situation. I knew at every single part of this whole walkthrough haunt thing, I knew what would happen, when it would happen, what they would do, when these things happened, everything. And I walked through one of those haunts where I knew exactly every single thing that was going to happen. I knew every single person that was acting in it. I knew what came next, what they were going to do, everything. And I still managed to scream like a little bitch and sprint my way through it. This is why I'll never get a house with a second floor on it either. Every single time I go up the stairs or go down a hallway or some shit like that, I just get really anxious and I just feel the overwhelming need to sprint for my life. You guys know me. You've heard my rants about roller coasters and shit. Roller coasters are not fun. Your heart racing is not your body going, wow, this is fun. That little muscle in your chest isn't sitting there like screaming in happiness. It's screaming in anguish and agony. It is screaming in terror. It's not saying this is so fun. It's saying we're gonna fucking die. This is when the brain and the heart disagree with each other. The brain is like, let's go on a roller coaster. The heart is like, fuck no, we're not going. And it's an inner war going on within your body. But see, the difference between me and most people is I'm gonna side with my heart literally every single time. If some shit makes me nervous, I'm not doing it. I'll play a video game, watch a movie, it'll still scare the living shit out of me. But hey, at least I'm not gonna actually uh die like a roller coaster. I talked about that shit in my video called Death. I think it was called. Just basically explain my anxiety and fear of dying. I would rather live forever, literally until the end of time. I cannot die by any way. Ever. I would rather be immortal and live a super, super bland and boring life that I'm completely sick and tired of than actually die. That's how strongly I feel about it. Most people would say the opposite of that. People would always say like, why the fuck would you want to live a long, boring life? I hear so many people say they don't want to live forever. Living is awesome. Being alive feels good. I mean, you'd be like the only immortal person on the planet. So, I mean, that'd be cool. You'd probably live a pretty cool life with people knowing that. You basically walk around and do anything that you wanted to because you can't be killed. I think maybe if I were immortal, I would ride a roller coaster. I might have asked this before, maybe a few months ago, but if you found like a genie in a bottle and you had three wishes, what would those three wishes be? Would you use one of those wishes on becoming immortal? Definitely 100% I would love to be immortal. Just never die. I'll be immortal in the sense that I can't die, I won't eat. So I'll look like this for the rest of my existence. I mean, I, I, yeah, I, I've been dealing with this for 21 years, so it's fine. One of the top wishes I guarantee someone's gonna say to fist them. I've been looking at the top comments recently on my videos and they're all just fucking knuckle and fist and finger related. It's just fucked up. If you're new to this channel, don't just don't look there. Keep your eyes on me. Don't scroll. No, nope, don't. You're scrolling right now. Don't scroll. Stay up here. It's not safe down there. It's a land of derogatory term, explicit comments, and fist related activity. It's not safe. It's not safe at all.